Would Linux users pay for Microsoft or Adobe software on Linux? That's our topic for the day. So, I have seen this argument so many times over the years. Why can't Linux attract more proprietary software companies? The two most common proprietary software suites that Linux users are out there clamoring for, for whatever reason, is Microsoft Office and the Adobe Creative Suite. People bring up this topic all the time on social media. I see it on Twitter. I see it constantly on Reddit. People start these online petitions begging Microsoft or Adobe or whatever company to port their software over to Linux. Sometimes these petitions get a very large response, thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of signatures, to no avail. The overwhelming majority of proprietary software makers are simply not interested in Linux. Let's face it, the business model of proprietary software and the business model of free and open source software are two very different things. How does proprietary software make money? Well, the proprietor makes proprietary software and then he sells software licenses for his proprietary software. That's how he makes money. He sells you software. And with that software, support is also implied. Support is kind of bundled into it. Uh, you buy the software and the support for proprietary software should be free because you bought the software. Where free and open source software, that business model is, it really acts almost in the opposite way. Free and open source software, almost always the software is given free of charge but they monetize the free and open source software usually through things like you pay for support. So again, it's kind of opposite ends of the spectrum there. The other thing that sometimes free and open source software monetizes itself through things like crowdfunding or asking for donations. And quite frankly, Linux users are not used to paying for software. We certainly don't mind donating. We don't mind getting out our wallets and donating to our favorite projects, but I doubt anyone is getting rich selling software, free and open source software or proprietary software to Linux users, right? Uh, we are not the crowd that buys software. We're just not. So some Linux users out there feel like they must have this proprietary software on Linux. So we constantly get these discussions coming up on social media, these petitions and the begging, begging these corporations to port their software to Linux. What do I think of all this? I hate this. The idea shouldn't be that we as potential buyers should have to beg and plead a company to buy their stuff. For one thing, I'm not a proponent of proprietary software anyway. I wouldn't use proprietary software on principle, but throw that out there. Say I have no problem using proprietary software. As a consumer, I would never beg a company to let me give them my money. They either want it or they don't. If they don't, so be it. Move on. Find an alternative. Spend your money somewhere else. Besides, this is not something you can change with a Reddit thread or an online petition. It's all about, can they make money off of Linux, right? These proprietary software makers, can they make money off Linux? If they think they can, they'll port their products over. If they think they can't, there's no way they're going to port their products over. Right now, though, they don't see it as profitable. Most companies do not see Linux as a profitable platform to sell their software. Again, that's how they make their money. Proprietary software is selling you software. They don't see Linux as a good platform for that. But they eventually may be forced to come to us because when I switched to Linux full-time on the desktop about 12 years ago, wow right? <laughs> Linux then and Linux now. Night and day difference. So many improvements. Linux is so much better. Desktop Linux is so much better now than it was 12 years ago. It's not even a debate. So many improvements, so many more users too. So Linux has really blown up in popularity. So many more people are on Linux and open source. So many more companies are getting on the open source train. Looking back then, where Linux was, looking back now, I think it's fairly safe to say that we can keep doing what we've been doing because we're on an uptick, right? Linux and free and open source software are becoming more and more popular every day. Eventually, these proprietary software companies will have to come to us. We won't have to beg for them to port their products over to us. They will eventually see it might be profitable for them to actually give us the software on Linux. But do you really need 
proprietary software on Linux? Do you really need that proprietary software on Linux? For example, most Linux users that I hear that say they must have the Adobe Creative Suite or they must have Microsoft's Office Suite, most of those Linux users don't really have to have those proprietary products. Most of you guys that are complaining about this, you don't actually have to have the Adobe Suite or the Microsoft Office Suite. You know you don't, right? It's just some, some of you guys are just simply afraid. Uh, it's you don't really know any alternatives and you fear change. You fear having to learn the alternatives. All you know is Microsoft Office, you know, having to learn something like LibreOffice. You know, every, everybody fears change. Everybody is afraid of change. But if you want to use Linux as your desktop daily driver, you have to start using Linux software. And you need to learn things like LibreOffice, things like GIMP and Inkscape, things like that. Yes, there's a learning curve with these free and open source projects if you're used to the proprietary alternatives, but so be it, right? Don't trade the convenience of proprietary software for your freedom, right? You need to wean yourself off the tit of the big proprietors. Now, some people claim that they use these proprietary solutions because they are, quote, professionals and need professional grade solutions for whatever it is they do. There also seems to be this ra rationalization that paying an exorbitant fee associated with some of these programs is okay for the professional, right? After all, you're making money using that software, so it doesn't matter that Microsoft and Adobe and these other proprietary companies charge outrageous fees, licensing fees for their uh, products because, you know, you're making money with that product, so you should have to pay those fees. Such thinking, I think, it's dangerous, and it's completely antithetical to what Linux and free and open source software stand for. After all, if we could put this professional grade software in the hands of the masses, including the poor that could never afford those high fees, think about how many more, so many more people would become professionals, you know, graphics professionals or what have you. Proprietary software discriminates heavily against the poor and the disenfranchised. This is one of the reasons why I advocate free and open source software so strongly. Free and open source software doesn't discriminate against poor and the underprivileged. But the truth of the matter is, and I know this is going to anger some of you, but we're about to do some real talk here. There is a large section of the free and open source community that does not want proprietary software like the proprietary products from Adobe and Microsoft. We do not want those proprietary software projects on Linux. We don't want it. We, we, we want no part of that. That is a, a substantial section of our community, right? Most distros, most Linux distros only ship with free software. Why did they do that? On principle. And I applaud them for that. I don't want proprietary software on Linux to ever become the norm, right? It's always, it should always be the exception, never the rule. I don't care if the Adobe suite is the gold standard and nothing else comes close. I don't care if none of the free and open source Office alternatives like LibreOffice, they don't have adequate compatibility with Microsoft Office, so be it, right? A large section of this community, including myself, we're very idealistic, right? We don't care about having, quote, the best software. Adobe and Microsoft may make the best software. I don't care. I wouldn't use it based on principle, right? Because I'm an idealist. I'm not a pragmatist. Pragmatists, they don't care, right? They just want to use what works. They want to use the best thing. But again, there's a substantial percentage of Linux users out there that are not pragmatists, right? Pragmatists don't mind compromising principles for convenience. Ideologues, though, we will happily run inferior software, vastly inferior software, as long as it's free and open source software, rather than running proprietary software, just based on principle. And that's just a fact for, again, a substantial percentage of the community. This is just the way it is for, for many of us. I know not all Linux users subscribe to that kind of thinking, and it no, no doubt it infuriates those of you that are more pragmatic. I get that. But understand, the ideologues in this fight, they're not just fighting for their rights, they're fighting for your rights too. And it's the ideologues that really created Linux, the free software movement, the open source software movement. I mean, all this got started with 
Richard Stallman in the 70s and 80s and the free software movement, the Free Software Foundation, the GNU Project, and then later into the 90s, Linus Torvalds and Eric Raymond and everybody on the open source train there that got the open source movement going. And, you know, it's the this was built by ideologues, right? So you can't complain about the ideologues in the community that are against proprietary software. Those of you that are coming to Linux new and are not aware of some of that kind of thinking, some of the politics involved, I, I get it frustrates you that maybe a, a, a section of our community just doesn't want anything to do with proprietary software and you as a pragmatist, you really feel like you have to have that and that maybe the ideologues are holding Linux back. But that's not the case. We wouldn't even have Linux if it wasn't for those ideologues, right? So wean yourself off the proprietary software. Just just wean yourself. Cut it cold turkey. It's like dropping a bad habit. And think about the money you save, but really don't think about saving money because you should still spend that money. What I do, I prefer to donate to free and open source projects rather than paying for proprietary software. Instead of begging Adobe to port Photoshop to Linux and then Assuming Adobe went ahead and made that Linux client, we all go out and buy it. And Adobe makes hundreds of thousands of dollars from all of us Linux users that went out and bought their proprietary software. What if instead of all of us that would have done that, what if instead we all donated money to GIMP? What if those hundreds of thousands of dollars that Adobe potentially could make from us, what if we gave hundreds of thousands of dollars to a false project like GIMP? Think about that for a second. What could GIMP do with hundreds of thousands of dollars in donations from the community? Well, GIMP certainly could be everything Photoshop is, and probably more. Not to mention, it would be free, as in freedom. Before I go, this show was made possible by Ansem, Chris, the other Chris, Douglas, Dylan, George, Jack, Lee, or Mitchell, Philip, Rob, Robert, Sam, Tony, Willie. They are the producers of the show, my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this show would not be possible. Also brought to you by all those fine ladies and gentlemen. You see all those names on the screen that help support me over on Patreon. I want to thank each and every one of them. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider doing so. You'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. 